Hey guys, it's been a little while since I did one of these. Uh, so, it's been 14 months since I last binged. Uh, that is 424 days. That's a long time. That's way past my wildest expectations. When I started this, I never would have believed that I could go that long without binge eating because the longest I had gone before that is a couple weeks. And that was hard. So, uh, yeah. Um, boom. I, I'm, uh, I'm mind blown about it. I can't even really believe it. Uh, I haven't really thought about it for a while. And, you know, it's 424 days without a single binge is just insane to me. Um, but uh, it's all good. You know, in, in the last 14 months, I've, I've gained a lot. Uh, I can walk. I can even, I'm even starting to jog now, um, you know, it's, it's just, uh, it's just completely different, and I don't have that urge every single day to binge, to have to, like, you know, stuff myself full of food and eat beyond when it's comfortable, um, that compulsion that's, you know, just took control of my life for so long, uh, and I can only, uh, credit my meal plan, cutting out the sugar specifically. Uh, I, I sugar for me is like crack, and there was no way that I could keep it in and make progress long term because no matter what happened, as long as I you know kept taking some hits, it was eventually going to pull me back in to where I didn't have control, and that was the whole issue with me is that I was in an out of control spiral and that's when I finally realized that you know this was I mean it was my fault to, to an extent because I was choosing to do it and I got myself in that position I'm not trying to say that I'm not to blame but uh, as far as you know the day to day it was really out of my control I didn't want to binge you know I there was a period for like two years where I was like, tomorrow is the day I start. Tomorrow. Because I couldn't go to sleep at night. I couldn't even live with myself the way I was, you know, compelled to do. I knew that it was wrecking my health. It was wrecking my life completely. And uh, I just... I just needed to tell myself that. And I believed it. You know, I wasn't lying to myself. I believe it. Tomorrow I'm going to start. And then I would get to tomorrow... And it was just so hard. It was just so impossibly hard that I would just say, okay, I need one more day. You know, one more. One more last meal. Let's make it a doozy. And, uh, you know, I, that's how m that disorder or disease or whatever you want to call it, that's how it manifested with me. It was, a, it was this perpetual tomorrow I'm going to start. Tomorrow. You know, I had more last days than than anyone you know I, I i just every day was my last day and and that was the reason i was eating so much in my head not because i had binge eating disorder but because this was my last day well it was because i had binge eating disorder and it took me to accept that in order to take the steps i needed to take to alleviate it and i didn't even know they were going to work but uh 14 months no binges i think that's probably uh, a success as far as uh, binging and um, you know it's just my life is so much different not having to deal with that so uh, I'm happy and grateful to be here uh, 14 months to be able to still say this and even more so I'm, I'm excited for what is ahead because you know we're into March and I haven't quit uh, I said that 2018 was gonna be my year that I was gonna go and freaking grab it and I have I have done just that. I just finished my fifth workout for the week earlier, and uh, I'm going to do it again next week. And I, I've been doing it. You know, there's only a couple weeks in this year. Right after New Year's, I took like an eight-day break, uh, and then I realized I need to keep a schedule that I that I'm expected to do, or you know, I, I fall back into old patterns. So that's what I've done, and uh, I, I haven't binged. I haven't went off plan. Um, you know, I, I've done everything 
uh, that I wanted to do. You know, I've, I've thought about it and I've made the, the wise decisions. You know, the ones that you make after you've failed every single way a hundred times. Uh, when you just, you reach this Zen place. That's why I say failure is not really failure. It's just learning. And you reach this place where you just know where the right doors are and you know where the wrong ones are. And you got to keep yourself honest. You got to stay committed to it. And you got to keep on continuously making those right decisions. Uh, and the more you make, the more confidence you have that you can keep making them at the beginning. It's, you know, a crapshoot, of course. Uh, but the, the more hard decisions you make, that's what I found. That the hardest ones, like when I really, like, really tempted or I could get by with this even, maybe, and I don't do it anyway. You know, I've half justified it in my mind, and then I step back and say, no, when I make those really tough ones, the ones that kind of gut you, uh, I, I always feel so much better after those because it just gives me more confidence. And the next time I come up on a hard situation, I know that I can do it. And then it's just a matter of doing it, you know, setting your mind to it and doing it. So, uh, yeah, things are going well. And um, I look forward to continuing on 15 months, 16 months, 17, 24, 30, 40 Let's see where we go. All right, guys. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Please comment. Let me know what you think. I like hearing from you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Knuckle up.